Talking today to Leonard Arkun, who is the founder of Kobe Interactive. Leonard, what are the different approaches that there have been to augmented reality? Well, augmented reality has been typically be used for uh, more promotional type of um, apps. Mm. So if you see something at a mall, you would hover your phone over something and you'd see an object that would appear over it. Um, mm. Spider-Man is uh, an example. Mm. There's been a Spider-Man app where you can use various images and mm. you can look at your phone um, and you can see Spider-Man characters like fighting on the on your table, yeah. for example. Um, but there's been some interesting developments like Google Glasses, which gives you a heads-up display in your actual vision. So you wear these glasses and it has a little display mm. and it also has a camera. So you could combine this with augmented reality, mm. for example. So how do the Google Glasses work? What, what, how, do you, how do you interact with the things that you're seeing? So Google's, Google's um, vision of it currently is that you would actually speak to it. Right. So if you have a text message, you would speak the text message. You say yeah. reply to, and then you would say your message, and it would send your message. Yeah. But I don't believe that's the way you would really want to. It's not a natural way to interact with yeah. um, this type of device, and you also don't want information being thrown at you all the time. Mm. You don't want to see oh the weather's this or oh. Mm. Uh, someone's contacting you and wants to meet you, yeah yeah so my idea of it would be and you're working on a proof of concept aren't you yeah so my idea would be why not use augmented reality to detect um, a simple object hmm. like for example a watch yeah which I believe is a small device that you can wear on your wrist um, it means you can eliminate having an actual phone in your pocket yeah and with these glasses, whenever you look at your watch, you would see a large virtual screen. Mm. So this eliminates having these large devices like the Galaxy Note, yep. which everyone knows is, nobody really knows why it's so popular, but it yeah. is. Um, which is a sort of awkward compromise. Isn't yeah. It? So, I mean, it solves the problem of having a large screen, mm. uh, well, the visual problem of having a mm. large screen device. Um, but there's other ways to solve the... You need another technology to solve the problem of actually in, mm. replacing the input of a large screen device. Yeah. So the, the other interesting technology that, that there is out there is the leap motion, yeah. which works in close range. Um, it's a small device. It's very fast. Yeah. It's very responsive. So, and it also reacts in 3D space. Yeah. So It's slightly more successful than connect it's it's not out yet no, it's, it's, okay. being it's going to be released early next year yeah uh, but they've sh shown proof of concepts they've shown yeah what they're going to be released you can actually yeah. pre-order it already yeah. okay um but it's it's technology that i think you could put in something like yeah. a mobile device and this would make make it where you can interact with a device that's much smaller than um, the surface that you're trying to interact with. And yeah. you can also interact in So taking, space. taking the example of your watch, the, the, the big screen would hover over the watch yeah. and you would in effect be able to yeah. interact it with it. It could even be, it doesn't even have to be a 2D screen, it could yes. be 3D. Yeah. So you could have, let's just take a out of the box thinking mm. where maybe you're a chemist and you're looking at molecules. You yeah. could have a Visualization of a 3D mole molecule, yeah. and you could maybe use your hands to actually twist it instead of just 2D yeah. manipulation. Yeah. Um, so, so there's a lot of, um, I guess, research that can go into yeah. what gestures work with this type of yeah. interaction, or yeah. this type of device. Because the, the other technology that people always used to talk about in the sort of sci-fi way was having kind of something like a hologram which yeah. would kind of hover there. But yeah. this, is, this is almost as effective yeah. as that. So I don't, I'm not sure how close we are to holographic technology, yeah. but I think this is just as good. Mm. Um, the only thing is that you would need some sort of um, glasses or if they ever happen to make it into like a contact lens. Yes. Um, so how far off do you think this in reality is? 
Well, I think Google Glass is supposed to... They think it will only be ready maybe in a year or two's time. Hmm. Um, and then once that is done, I mean, it's it's kind of when does this device become mainstream and hmm. people start uh, putting all the research into it. Hmm. So maybe, maybe three years time. Hmm. Um, I don't think any any time sooner than that. But I do think that it's a way we will probably be... It's where it's headed, yeah. yeah. And for you, what was the purpose of doing the proof of concept? <clears throat> um, well, it was just kind of an idea I had that was really awesome. And, you know, I've always believed that, you know, you know, watching these sci-fi mm. films, like, it'd be awesome to have these holograms. Mm. But holographic technology has not really progressed. No. And as soon as I saw something like Google Glasses with heads mm. up display, um, and this technology, like, with augmented reality, mm. it kind of makes sense to me that this is how we can make holograms mm. a reality, in a sense. And the underlying software for it, for it is Qualcomm software, you were saying? So augmented reality, Qualcomm does a lot of research in augmented reality, mm. uh, but I guess it, it's combining everyone's technology technology together mm. so Google Glasses with Qualcomm augmented reality technology with leap motion mm. controller yeah um, we need to combine those to make it work mm. um, I'm not sure who will do that yes <laughs> but maybe Microsoft if, because they have a lot of research I mean yeah. they already researched the connect and I'm uh, there's a lot of rumors that the new Connect's going to come out. It's going to be better. Mm. So they might Take also it on. have something in the bag. Yeah. Uh, maybe they're working on. I know they they're also working on 3D holographic mm. technology, and they're also playing around in that space. Mm. Uh, yeah. Okay, Leonard. Thanks for talking to me today. Cool.